Hey friends, it's Kivia. Thanks for coming back for another video or welcome if this is your first time here. I just wanted to start off by saying I missed you all so much. I am so happy to be back. I am very excited about today's video because we are finally tackling this pantry. I just wanted to throw in a few clips on where we started off and where we are headed with this and I am very excited about this one so I really hope you all enjoy and let me know what you think down in the comments below she's putting all our, our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one all right y'all so here are the bookshelves all put together i did find these right here at hunger's the other day and they fit perfect in there i made sure i measured prior to going and purchasing these so i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in here probably like chips or something but yeah these were 12.99 at home goods and i did pick up two of those so the other one is here not exactly sure how I'm going to arrange them. And it looks like this on the other side, which I really like. They had a larger one as well. I didn't pick that one up though. And then I also got this riser. And I found this at Big Lots. And it's adjustable as well. So you can either have it this size or make it a little larger. But... Before my husband left, I had him pull this table out because all of the stuff that I'm going to be pulling out of the pantry. I don't know what's going on with this camera. All of the stuff that I'm going to pull out of the pantry will go on this table right here just so I'm not crowding my countertops. But I just had this package come in from Amazon. This should be the wallpaper that I ordered. So I'm going to open this up. All right, here's the wallpaper and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to go with something black and white inside of the pantry. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna put this throughout the whole pantry or just do that back wall and then paint the rest white, which most likely that's where I'm going with it because on one of the walls in the pantry, they're gonna be covered by these shelves anyway. So there's no need to cover the whole pantry in this wallpaper because you won't be able to see half of it anyway but oh and i'll be ordering a new door a new pantry door as well but if you guys haven't seen the video where i changed out all of the jars so all of those are new i'll make sure i link that down below but i'm going to be removing everything out of here so I can start prepping it so we can take all of the shelves out and then we just, we'll just have to go to either Lowe's or Home Depot to get some wood cut and measured out so it'll be the same length of these shelves. So these shelves right here will be replaced by the bookshelves that I showed you guys over there and then the shelves that I have on this side we will be replacing with some wood shelves. So all of this stuff will come out and I'm not exactly sure what else I'm going to put in here, but I want something at the bottom, maybe like a cube shelf or something to put like water and stuff like that on. So, but let's get started taking all of this stuff out of here.
out of the pantry. I think it's all clear. Didn't take that long. Thankfully, we don't have a ton of stuff in our pantry, but it was enough that it took a little minute, but I didn't want to crowd the countertops. As I mentioned, this counter over here, we don't really use as much. Like I don't use that as prep space or nothing like that. So just kind of pushing it back in that corner will do. I wanted to keep the island clear. I just need to put this somewhere. But as you can see, I pretty much just put everything over here. That's why I had my husband to bring this folding table in so I could just put stuff here. I did put a few things on this shelf over there, but I didn't want to put too much because we're going to be putting that in the pantry. But yes, I am excited to get started. So I'm going to start removing these shelves out of here. And then I think tomorrow is probably when we'll start patching things up. Going off to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty and You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty I got the bad guy You want some love, be like when you feel like calling a midnight I, mm, You got the best of me Okay, we are back home and I picked up two staining pads, the ultra white paint and a satin finish, the oil base polyurethane, and I also got the stain in a true black finish. Before I start applying the stain to the boards that we'll be using in the pantry, I just wanted to test it out on the extra pieces that we had cut down. For the shelves, we decided to go with this spruce pine board. It's a really nice finish. The stain adhered to this really well. You can paint these also. And to finish off the front, I really wanted to have some type of trim in the front so it didn't look so squared. So we found this trim as well. I'll have everything linked down in the description box below just in case you guys wanted these exact items now we're just attaching the trim using our nail gun and we should have done this prior to starting the stain my husband thought about it after the fact but we're just taking care of that now along with filling in those gaps and imperfections with some of this wood filler you guys I'm no professional when it comes to staining but I think these boards turned out absolutely beautiful I am so in love and I think it really gave it a nice touch once I added that oil-based polyurethane that will allow me to wipe 
spills off very easily if something were to spill on them. Now I'm just going in with this Drydex filler so we can get the wall sanded down and my husband can start painting. We definitely underestimated how big this pantry was because the amount of paint that we got was not enough so when my husband went back to Lowe's the next day he decided to grab this easy roller and he said that he liked the way that it works uh, it's pretty simple you just have to read the instructions so you basically just fill the roller up with paint and it's gonna come out on the roll and make things easier instead of you constantly having to dip the roller inside of the paint tray so I told him not to paint the whole pantry because that back wall was going to have wallpaper on it anyway. But prior to putting the wallpaper on, I decided to go in and put a thin coat of paint on the back wall because I was afraid the patches that we patched up on the wall were going to show through. So I did just put a little paint there prior to putting the wallpaper up. completed the wallpaper I noticed the baseboards in here could use a fresh coat of paint they were pretty beat up I also had some cracks that I needed to fill as well and on the outside of the pantry the baseboards definitely needed a fresh coat of paint I need to go throughout the whole house and do this I'll be doing that eventually it's just a lot of house to cover it's mainly downstairs but I will definitely be taking care of that soon I ordered our door from Home Depot. I was looking on Lowe's website as well, but this door was about $200 more at Lowe's than it was at Home Depot. Not understanding why, but I was just trying to get it online. I believe they do price matching like most stores, but it's only in person and I was able to save a little bit more by using our military discount. As you can see, this door did not come with any hardware. There was also no hose or placement for us to know exactly where to put the hardware. So I didn't want to ruin the door, so I decided to hire some professionals to take care of this for me. I know when you do order items like this from Lowe's or Home Depot, you can also request that they install them for you, but it is a bit pricey. So if you can find someone locally to do that for you, that might save you a ton of money because I did look into having them to install it for us and they were trying to charge a whole lot more than what I paid for. All right, you guys, we got the door installed. They're going to be coming back tomorrow so they can put the handle on the door because he didn't have have the proper tool to do that so what I also noticed now when I purchased the door I specifically wanted it painted already so we didn't have to go through that hassle but now that I am looking at the trim and looking at the door you can clearly see these are two different whites one is an ultra white and the other one is more of like a matte finish so this one has the gloss on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the door with the high gloss finish like the trim and I have some areas that I need to touch up as far as like putty because we do need to get another door stopper because the one that they installed a piece was missing so I will have to do that and also we did notice some blemishes on the door so I'll just have to sand those areas down and repaint that but overall I absolutely love it
Okay, sorry friends, I'm gonna have to end the video here because it was gonna be way too long, plus we ran into a few little issues, so I didn't get a chance to complete everything in this video. But as you can see, the guys are putting up the shelves. They look amazing. You'll be able to get a little peek before the video ends. But next Sunday, I will be doing the final reveal. You guys will see how amazing everything turned out. I'll also have some organization inspiration in there for you as well but as always thank you so much for supporting my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with a friend and until next time my friends take care Someday soon, I'm gonna make it.